Hey guys, how's it going? So I have an update, and it's actually a little bit of encouragement regarding the JSD Supply Cease and Desist Letter that they received from the ATF last week. I reported on this on my channel twice in a standalone video and in a live stream, so check those if you're not yet familiar. But the real brief scenario was they received a cease and desist from the ATF saying they had to not sell, basically, any of the products on their site apparently because the ATF is making the claim of structuring which is a weird legal term that usually doesn't have any, anything to do with firearms but they were saying that basically since somebody could buy a kit an 80 kit from JSD and then also the rest of the necessary parts to complete it they could wind up making a complete firearm therefore not the customers, but JSD themselves would be structuring in order to circumvent or get around the Gun Control Act of 1968, which regulates firearms. And in my opinion, not parts. And it's been long held from my research that the ATF doesn't regulate just simply parts. Unless, of course, they're attached to firearms, then there becomes different scenarios with that. So here's the good news. And JSD is going to need your help because they are fighting back. So check the pinned comment below this video for a link to their Give, Send, Go. They're going to need you guys' help. A, for themselves and their own company, of course, which we want their company to succeed. All the employees that work there. For all of their customers who love shopping there. But also to fight back against this far overreach. Because it's literally gone insane with the ATF. And this needs to stop right now. So... JSD is going to need your help. Definitely go over to that Give, Send, Go if you can help out a little bit. If you don't have any money, I understand. Just spread the word. Share this video so other people can know what's going on. Maybe they can chip in. And we just all need to fight to the best of our abilities to stop all this crazy ATF overreach. So JSD recently filed a temporary restraining order against the ATF in these cease and desist letters. Basically, I'm not a lawyer, but that's a way of saying they want a judge to stop and say, no, this can't go into effect right now. Time is of the essence because there's a business just sitting there right now that actually might not be able to or probably isn't able to sell anything. And I say things like might not and probably because this actual cease and desist letter was so vague that I don't think any reasonable person could understand it. And we're not supposed to have vague letters and rules that have force from the federal government. That's literally like one of the most un-American things that could happen. So I'm going to go through and talk about just a couple things here. But the good news is JST is fighting back. They're filing in the Western District of Pennsylvania. Gun Owners of America is helping. I received an email from GOA today with a complete document. I don't know how to upload PDFs to YouTube. I'm going to leave a link to a locals post. That's another site where I do all kinds of extra content. And you guys can join for free. I'm going to put a link to a locals post where I'm going to embed this document so you guys can read from this. I think it's about 43 pages long, something like that. So GOA is helping. I know a lot of you support the GOA. You'll feel good about supporting them because they're getting in the fight right now. JSD, we always told you. I did a video on JSD last year saying, currently have been and will be fighting for the Second Amendment and they're fighters. So this is where we need to take this good news and get some strength from this. We need momentum. We need the American people to get behind JSD while simultaneously telling the ATF, AFT, whatever the former vice president calls them today. We need to put them in check and they need to stop. This is a very, very good read, actually. Make sure you check the link there, you know, not only to the Give, Send, Go, because it costs money, litigation, legal things. It's just the way it works, right? So check that out. See if you can help out there and also check out that locals post where I'm going to put the document. Because it's an interesting read. Like, it really, really is. Very, very thought out. The legal counsel responsible for writing this did an excellent job. If you're watching, thank you for sending me the email, by the way. Very well written. Very clear. Very easy to understand. I hope the judge can understand it. And I hope the American people can get behind JSD in this fight. But they're literally like... Okay, look, it's so vague they don't even know like what exactly they have to do to comply with this. 
Now here's the crazy part. I'm just going to give you guys the cliff notes and I'm going to read just from two pages of this of this um, document that was filed in the Western District of Pennsylvania. Like I said, GOA is helping with this. They're the good guys. I think you guys already know that. I just wanted to remind you of that. That's why I always talk about the GOA. People like GSD, JSD, good people need to stick together. And I know a lot of you guys are too. They basically started asking them questions like, what if we remove this from our site? What if we remove that from our site? And the AFT couldn't even answer those questions, couldn't even give them any guidance, and actually talked at a certain point to JSD through their legal counsel, obviously. They're well represented right now, just so you guys know. That's awesome. That, look, you might be able to do these things, but we're not even sure what we're going to do after that. And they're not even giving them any path to compliance. And it sounds like to me, and this is just in my opinion, they want JST just to go out of business. That's my opinion. That's what this is and is an opinion piece, this video. But it seems like they just literally want them to go out of business. And also they referred to the rule. Yeah, the rule about frames and receivers that doesn't even go into effect until 120 days from when it was published, which would put us sometime mid to late August. Yeah, this is crazy. The rule itself is crazy, and there's people suing over that as we speak. I know GOA is, get, GOA is getting in on that too, but the rule is crazy and arbitrary and capricious and confusing as that is. It hasn't even gone into effect yet. This is a very slippery slope. And it's crazy. And I'm going to read, the way they did this document, they have a bunch of number line items here. And this is a heading that I think is interesting. You guys that don't like longer videos, you already got what you need to know. Go over to my locals if you want to read the whole document. Go to the Give, Send, Go. Help financially support uh, JSD. Always support the GOA. That's a no-brainer, in my opinion. And... I'm going to give you guys, so you guys know what to do, right? I'm just going to read these two pages because... This is literally crazy what's going on right now. And it needs to stop. All right. So plaintiffs attempts to clarify ATF's vague cease and desist order. For the reason stated above. And I'm starting here on page 11. Okay. Go over and click on that link in the pinned comment. You guys want to read the rest of this. And you'll love my locals community if you're not already a member. You can join for free over there or support. For reasons stated above. After receiving ATF C&D order. Plaintiff could conceive of no way to conduct retail sales and still ensure compliance with the agency's new and novel as well as vague and unclear demands. Ain't that the truth? Thus, out of an abundance of caution, plaintiff was forced, the plaintiff's JFD, obviously, plaintiff was forced to suspend retail operations soon after receiving ATF C&D order on the morning of May 12, 2022. As explained further below, this includes halting all online retail sales of its website, refunding pending orders, and canceling plaintiff's appearance at gun shows over the weekend of May 14th, 15th, 2022, causing a substantial loss of gross and net income to plaintiff. That's why we should try to help the best we can. Spreading the word helps too, guys, but there's also a give, send, go in the pinned comment. Thus, no argument can be made that plaintiff has not fully and immediately complied with ATF's vague, unclear, and unlawful demands in its C&D order. Whatever those demands might be, and earlier in this document, the, again, counsel that wrote this did a really good job outlining like the intent of the GCA and how it wasn't even supposed to have these types of impacts. This document's a good read, guys, for real. After halting retail sales, plaintiff immediately sought ATF guidance by reaching out to ATF SAC Verisco, whose CND order had promised he would be available for any questions. And I remember reading that on the original cease and desist letter too. However, well, you knew there was a however, didn't you? Of course. Obviously, it's the ATF. However, plaintiff's call was not returned by SAC Verisco, but instead by a staff attorney at the ATF's Philadelphia Field Division. That same day, counsel for plaintiffs spoke with two attorneys about the matter, including ATF Associate Chief Counsel. The substance of that conversation, including plaintiffs' good faith attempts to receive guidance and specificity from ATF about the demands in its C&D order, is recounted in plaintiffs' letter to ATF Exhibit 2. This is in this document as well. First, counsel for plaintiff explained that JSD Supply does not sell complete kits. Just think about that. They don't even sell complete kits. As referenced in ATF C&D order. 
ID at 2. ATF did not dispute this. Second, plaintiff's counsel sought guidance as to which specific part or parts could be entirely removed from JSD Supplies inventory to result in a fully compliant situation where plaintiff would not be viewed as selling, in quotes, this is from the letter, a cease and desist, all the components necessary to produce a fully functional firearm. JSD was willing to see what they needed to do, or through their counsel, rather, see if they could keep their site open to an extent, somewhat. That's what I'm reading so far. Well, we'll continue for just another minute here. ATF's representatives declined to provide confirmation or guidance on this issue. Who's surprised yet? Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> on the contrary, ATF's representatives have stated that, in fact, it may not be permissible to simply remove one or more easily available components from inventory in order to achieve compliance. This position stands in stark contrast to the cease and desist order, which on its face prohibits only the sale of, in quotes, all the necessary components. And then they, they said another um, exhibit in this document. ATF's position, it would seem, continues to evolve. The ever-moving goalposts. This is a slippery slope, guys. I'm glad they're fighting. We need to fight with them. We need not thousands, not hundreds of thousands. We need millions of gun owners to get together and fight this fight. We need to do this the right way. And then we need the American people to get behind JSD. People like GOA who are trying to just halt all of this craziness that's going on. Third, plaintiff's counsel asked whether JSD supply would be in compliance with the C&D order if it entirely stopped selling 80% frames and receivers. They just got rid of all of the 80s and only sold firearms parts such as barrels, springs, triggers, etc. I have a Patmos slide barrel, a couple of them, by the way. Excellent parts. Let's continue. Even though there is no reasonable question that such firearm component parts are entirely unregulated by federal law, obviously, ATF representatives could not even confirm that plaintiff would be in compliance with ATF cease and desist order if it continued operations on such a narrow, limited, clearly lawful basis. And then this is the end of what I chose to print right now. With ATF counsel being unable or unwilling to provide any specific guidance, undersigned counsel prepared and sent a letter to the ATF. And then it goes on to talk about different things that's going on with JSD's counsel, with the ATF. This is a great read. Um, not that you need my kudos, obviously, but good job, legal counsel. I'm just a regular old dude. Very understandable, very easy, enjoyable read. I suggest you guys reading this, okay? And I suggest you guys supporting JSD however you can. You have to support them. You have to do something. If you can do it financially for $1, $5, $100, $1,000 if you're rich. Maybe someone that watches this is well to do. I don't know. If you can't even donate $1, I'm not asking you for money. Look, I get it, guys. Times are very tough right now. You still have to help. The American people have to get behind this. You have to raise public awareness. You have to share videos like this one. Videos like people that John Crump are doing, okay? People like DLD After Dark. I saw my friend Shooting Gallery New England recently did a video. People like Flying Rich. Oh, look, there's lots of people that are doing videos. Maybe my video is the one you want to share. Maybe you want to share someone else's. Maybe you want to call your friends. Send them emails. Talk to your family about what's going on. This is overreach. It's vague. In my opinion, it's arbitrary and it's capricious. These letters they're sending, evolving rules, ever moving goalposts. It's just literally insane. And I don't want to keep on saying the word insane, so I need to stop saying the name ATF because ATF insane. I think I just repeated myself. Thank you GOA for sending me this document so I can let all my viewers know. Shout out to the GOA. Shout out to my friend John Crump who took my phone call at 10 p.m. After I was done doing another live stream tonight and gave me the skinny and kind of gave me some cliff notes on what's going on too. So we got to work together on this and we all need each other right now. So spread the word. Donate if you can. Check that pinned comment to go to the Give, Send, Go and take a look at this whole document. And good luck, JSD. And if anyone from JSD is watching this, I appreciate you guys. You guys are cool. I appreciate all you've been doing for the community, for the Second Amendment in the past. And I really appreciate you guys fighting this right now in court 
and trying to stop this bully, which is trying to shut you down, but trying to shut all of us down. All right, thanks for watching, and have a good one.